What's going on YouTube? DJ K coming at you with a quick video. Um, just got this final, what is it? Not Final Cut Pro, my fault. Um, Logic Pro X off of iTunes. Cost about $200. It's been out, I think, since, I don't know, maybe sometime last week. I just went on there and it popped up and I'm like, okay, let me check it out. I've never used Logic before in my life. So I just wanted to just check it out, play around with it a little bit on this video. The beat comes out whack. Who cares? I'm just trying to play with it. It's already set to four fourths uh, time signature already. I got you can select several different drums that's on here. I didn't download every single sound that it comes with because I'm on my MacBook Pro, which doesn't really have a lot of space on the flash storage hard drive. So I am only got I only downloaded like the drums. I think they got a drum machine on here. Let me see, it say Grimy 909. Let's see what that sounds like. It looks like an NPC. If you look at the, the little thing here, you can kind of see it looks like a little NPC drum machine. Like an NPC 60, actually. <laughs> or oh, is that an NPC 3000? I don't know. And I got it, my uh, Akai Max 49 hooked up to the laptop. And it works without me doing anything. As soon as I plugged it up, it's working. Let's go through a couple other kits. I'm just playing around in this video, so just so y'all know, it might be a long, boring video. Unreal Acoustic. Let's see. There's another drum kit. I, I like this drum kit. It sounds pretty good. Let me see. I think this is the one. Kind of sound like the Abbey Rhodes drums to me. Kinda. What's the tempo set at? The tempo is set at 75 BPM, which is cool. Let's just play around with it, see what we can do. Alright. Messed that up. Hold on. Let's start over. It's probably gonna be whack, people. Oh, now I know some people don't like to use quantize, but I am. So I'm gonna cut the quantize on because it's not on right now. Uh, I guess I'll cut it on. Let me see how that comes out. Let me see. All right, let's try that. I suck, man. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, man. Alright, let's see what kind of vintage synth we got going on. We're going to try to find some kind of instrument. Let's hear this string sound.
sound like crap, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's see. Okay, that was just my little, me just playing around with Logic Pro X. For the first time ever, I never used this program ever in my life. Pretty easy to use from what I can see here. I don't have all the instruments that, it's, that it came with. I couldn't download all of them on my MacBook Pro, so that's just some of the instruments that it comes with. It comes with a lot of sounds. Uh, and you can also use your existing plugins in here. Now, I don't know how you do that. I gotta play around with it to see how you bring in your your own uh, plugins. I'm not sure how you go about doing that. Like I said, I'm new to using it, so 
who knows? I have to search through here and look and see. But it did read all of my plugins on install. It also has effects on it, look like compressor. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, I'm new to Logic. I don't I know a lot of you guys use Logic, but I have never used it, so it looks pretty good though. I like it already. I like a lot of the sounds in here too. A lot of sounds in here are nice. So yeah. Let me see refresh library. What does that do? I guess that'll look for sounds. I'm not sure. But yeah, the native instrument sounds, all my plugins that are on this computer did read. But I don't know how you pull them up in here. That's arrangement. But it's pretty easy to select different sounds. We got wood and woodwind instruments on here, flutes and saxophones. Get the sax, it don't sound like it. Not to me. It's not really changing, I don't think. Alright, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Music kids out for now. Thank you all for subscribing. More videos are coming. I got a lot to learn. I'll just tell y'all that right now. See you in the next video. DJ Kids out.